1954, when Selma arrived and opened the first bank in Henderson, known as Bank of Nevada, she had the desire to learn and understand the community's needs and truly understood the customers lined up at the front door to open their first bank accounts. I would like to quote tonight what my dad, Lou Laporta, said out of an authorized biography of Selma Bartlett, a quality of heart most unusual. Selma is generous, charismatic, dedicated to serving the bank's clients. Selma also has a keen interest in the public's well-being and in the town's progress. She spent a lot of time working with the government of the city of Henderson. The word service comes to mind when you think about Selma. She was the most delightful person to work with. She was, and continues to be, solution-oriented. Selma was an active and outspoken advocate for Henderson. She was a shining example of people in business that are devoted to a community. And there is not one place where we go that someone to this day does not walk up and say, thank you, Selma, you put me in business. One of our many historical conversations, this one particular stuck out the most to me, and I will always remember it. Well, Val, I had to open up the bank doors after hours. The workers had to cash their checks, had to feed their families and pay their bills. Now that is the power of human kindness to better the lives of others. Congratulations for receiving the St. Rose Dominican Human Kindness Award. Hello, I'm Senator Richard Bryan, and I'm proud that my family has been part of Southern Nevada for many generations. The Foley's have been here even longer. Arriving in Goldfield, Nevada in 1902, at the height of the mining boom there. They moved to the dusty small town of Las Vegas in 1926 and have been making contributions to the community ever since. In fact, it's been 93 consecutive years of Foley serving in public office in Nevada. My father Oscar and Roger Foley ran against each other for district attorney in 1950. They were friends before and they remained friends afterwards. Don't we wish it could be that way today? And when I got out of law school, my earliest job was working at Foley Brothers Law Firm, the largest all-brother firm in the country. Now, I was aware that Betty and Joe had a lot of kids, but I was not aware until recently that they gave birth to nine children in a span of 10 years at Rose de Lima, the original St. Rose Hospital. They would travel the long 13 miles along the old Boulder Highway each year to rely on the guiding hands of the Dominican sisters in birthing their children. And Betty and Joe also helped to launch the initial fundraising efforts of the nuns in the 1950s. And their two children, Dan and Helen, have been unwavering in their dedication to St. Rose, serving on its hospital and foundation boards. We congratulate the Foley family on their tremendous contributions to Southern Nevada, and specifically to St. Rose Dominican Hospitals. This tribute is well deserved. Calvin and Tina Tyler have kept the doors to higher education open at Morgan State University for more than 20 years. To date, some 300 students have benefited from the Tyler Scholarship Endowment and hundreds more will realize their academic dreams in the future as a result of the generous giving spirit of Calvin and Tina Tyler. When you think about the transformative power of education and what it means in the life of the individual, the family and the community, you can't help but realize that gifts like the Tylers have a profound impact for generations to come. So to Calvin and Tina, we thank you for all you do to make the world a better place and congratulations on the St. Rose Dominican Hospital's Human Kindness Award. You are more than deserving of this award and we hope that it enriches your lives a thousand times over.